This is Nico, and today we're going to make him this cast with Fico. Sorry for that joke. <laughs> so we're going to be using this Fico that we uh, made recently for our cannabis patients, for our cancer patients. Um, this right here, we have about two and a half grams of Fico. We're going to be adding it to this melted coconut oil. Just kind of, whoa! <laughs> Squirted it in there. And then we're going to mix this all up so that it's all consistent. There's a patient we're working with. We just gave, uh, I gave him one of my personal dose batches that I personally made uh, recently. And we gave him a couple different doses and he tried the one that I personally made and he said that it was the most uh, effective he's had in quite a while. So we're uh, making him a personal batch today, stronger than some of the other batches we've made. So we have this pretty dark consistency right there. I'm actually going to darken that up a little bit more. So this right now has roughly three and a half grams of Fico in it, in addition to the uh, tincture I added on top of it. How much coconut oil do you think is There's in there? probably two tablespoons of coconut oil and then maybe another third of a tablespoon since I added some extra. So we're going to fill up these capsules right over here. Get a better shot of one. So. And these capsules are a great way for someone to ingest their cannabis without smoking it. Not everyone wants to smoke their cannabis or is physically able to. And this way you can benefit from all of the therapeutic uses of cannabis without having any of the less than uh, wonderful benefits of smoking it. It's hey, hey, Matt, one love back at you. If anyone has any particular questions, feel free to holler and shout out, and we'll do our best to answer them. Yeah, I use a uh, coconut oil base as my uh, tincture base because I'm personally vegan, and so this is... Uh, easy to use and easy to use for anybody. I got this capsule machine online which really makes uh, this filling process a lot easier. And how many uh, grams of Fico are you using to make these uh, capsules, Bear? Roughly three and a half in here. And what strains were used in the in the in this uh, batch of Fico here? This batch has some Obama Kush, some Critical Kush, some CBD flower. Um, what? I can't remember what else we put in there. Um, Just kind of a mixture. Of yeah, I think we had some wild zombie in there some too. Some wild zombie and some cheese. That's what they were. So, including the tincture that I added in here. Uh, I believe all five or six of those strains are in this batch. And now that we're done here, we are going to use this to raise up the gel caps. We're going to put some lids on them. and they'll be ready to use. What's nice about these are, um, since they are coconut oil, almost anyone can use them. The only downside is because they're pretty temperature uh, sensitive, if they are over 76 degrees, they will melt. So it's a great way to store them in the fridge uh, in between use, or just 
eat them all. No, I'm just kidding. Please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Only me. Yeah, Lorraine, it, it really is a fast setup. It's easy to do. I figure if I can help do something like that, this, then anybody can do it. Yeah, this is a, um, there are several cancer patients that I'm working with who I'm making uh, cannabis capsules for, and that's the most effective way for them to ingest their THC. It's easier for them to not smoke it, but also um, getting higher amounts, higher concentrations of CBD, of THC, uh, edibles and CBD capsules are a very effective way. Uh, you can get a lot more dosage uh, this way rather than having to smoke your flower. And like we mentioned earlier, it's a lot better for your body, uh, less harmful for your lungs to not be ingesting burnt carcinogenic plant matter. Even though cannabis smoke is significantly less harmful for your body and your lungs and has no associations with um, cancer risk, it's still better to uh, use the healthiest, most health-promoting ways to ingest your cannabis. That said, though, I do love smoking a bowl. I'm mostly a bong person as it is. Say hi, Bear. Who? Me? Say hi? Yeah, say hey hi. Heyo! <laughs> Um, we have 11 people join us here if you want to say hello to everyone. Hey guys, hope you're learning a lot uh, or just enjoying. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let us know. Uh, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook and we love sharing. Um, so, now that we have these all done, we have about 35 different capsules ready to go. And in a matter of several minutes, I went from having the stored FICO over here ready to be used and consumed by patients. And what does the FICO look like in the actual uh, syringes still? So in these syringes, it's this really dark kind of waxy tar substance. Um, it's a lot more viscous. It's really gooey. Um, and Almost so, like tar. Yeah, hey Sarah, how you like. doing? Sarah just joined us. Hey Sarah. Um, so yeah, it's a great way, these syringes are a great way to store it, rather than having a goopy, sticky mess in a container like this. Hey these Ginger. syringes allow you to really easily uh, measure out and dose what you're doing, and it's an easy dispersion method. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the process for making your cannabis caps once you have your, uh, your medicated substance to be using. I hope you all enjoyed uh, making some caps with me and I hope to see you all soon. Let me just get one more look at those totally. gorgeous fecal pills so we can help out people that have different ailments and cancer. Yeah, if anybody has any friends, family, anyone with any questions who could benefit from cannabis use, please feel free to reach out. On Instagram, I'm uh, the underscore cannabis underscore critique, the cannabis critique. Also the same on Facebook, um, Scott Albert and Lori Albert, they're great resources as well. Please reach out for us if you have any questions or any family and friends who could benefit. Uh, that's why we're here. Have a great day, everyone. Did you want to just, before we leave oh, real yeah. quick, just talk about uh, our program that we have and that we can help, how we're helping out children, if you have any children, anyone that needs any sort of help with yeah. PICO? So currently we are working with Birdhouse Farms. Uh, she has been supplying us with a uh, really beautiful flower, which we've now recently been making into FICO right here. We've been making this for children with cancer and people with chronic debilitating diseases. And so, if, uh, like I mentioned earlier, if you have anyone in your friend uh, family or your friend circle that could really benefit from use, uh, we're doing everything we can to help supply people in need with the medicine that they can use to uh, help themselves and to be healthier and live happier lives. Cool. Cool. Have a great day, everyone.